And then uh, with the walker uh, attached to the board, what I decided to do was uh, incorporate uh, the additional support uh, into the instrument as a way of producing sounds, uh, which is just another way of saying I attached coil springs to the legs of the walker. And uh, so if you look around the various parts of the walker, um, down here uh, on this leg, there's a coil spring right here, which is a very different tone from the large one I played first. And See, it's simply wrapped around uh, the edge of the uh, the grill here. Um, the original grill I had on this was something I also found along a, on the street or in an alley. Uh, eventually, it fell apart. But uh, with the grill uh, here, um, uh, this replacement, uh, I cut the tines on the grill so I can get different pitches. Um, the tunings are not to any specific scale. Um, I just looked at the lengths and tried to make them sound differently from e each other. And um, here are some of the other springs on, on my, my left or on your right. There's another coil spring attached to this leg. spring is attached right uh, here up to the uh, hook and and with two bows one in each hand you can get different pitches that way I'm gonna move this spring out of the way here and um, I did a little experiments with rubber bands and uh, the rubber bands attached to these screws right here and uh, they have a nice sound. Something like a, an acoustic bass you might say. chopsticks. You can tell I'm very much into readily available materials and found objects. So, And um, so those are the basics uh, on the Far uh, on your right side, there's also this tin can lid, which is really well broken in, pretty shredded, but uh, sometimes... So that's a pretty noisy sound. Sometimes it can be very shrill, at other times I can get uh, something that sounds more like a trombone.